For years, the Maryland City Council complained about the state of City Hall, which posed many safety concerns. However, the municipal employees continued their work with only substandard works being done to the building. However, today was announced that the building is expected to receive restoration work funded by the European Union in collaboration with the National Trust of Guyana. Though the restoration process is only in its first phase, specialist and conservation architect Francis Maud has already started inspection and assessment of the works needed. In order again to find exactly what uh, can be brought to the project by the existing people of Georgetown and of Ghana, and it's a lot. I know you can bring a lot to this project. Uh, we also visited municipal archives in order to learn more about the history and development of the building in a report that's already been prepared. Uh, and on our return to the UK, we worked on the reports to support the findings that we had done. Ambassador of the European Union delegation to Guyana, Yerne Veritek, expressed his pleasure in the European Union partnering in the rehabilitation project. They will also be compiling a comprehensive restoration plan and sustainable comprehensive management plan which will help in aid in assisting to restore monumental buildings. It is my sincere hope that we will be able to share a completed plan by the end of July 2018 and I would like to add that this plan will set the benchmark to enable a transfer of know-how on how to correctly restore other monuments of historical and symbolic value in Guyana. Quite excited about the future plans ahead for City Hall, Mayor Bridget Chase Green spoke about her experience working in a deteriorating building. After many, many years of patience, and somebody spoke about the patience that we've been having at City Hall for this restoration, we have started this morning, and I'm happy. I'm excited. The 1st of July will mark 129 years for City Hall as a building. I, as an individual, would have been in occupation, occupational use of that building since 1994. And I've watched it deteriorate as a child, like if you have a child that is dying and there is no treatment for it. And so today I am happy that there is treatment for City Hall. The rehabilitation work is expected to cost over 44 million Guyana dollars. City Hall will be engaging other stakeholders for further funding. For Channel 2 Headline News, Esther Silvers. Thanks for watching Headline News. Leave a like or a comment below. And for updates on the latest news happening in Guyana, click the subscribe button.